Well, welcome back to Fly Fishing Podcast. It's been some time since I've uh, done an actual video, but I've just come across a particular fly I want to share with you um, before the end of the season. It's been working down on the test. I had a fantastic day on it yesterday, and today I've tried it on a, a local little still water one of my friends a member of, and we just couldn't go wrong. The wine for this evening, I'm going to be drinking uh, a Merlo uh, Ganache blend. It's uh, the cellar of the dolphins. Um, they do some very nice wines, and uh, particularly the Rhones, etc. Let's allow everybody to see that. Um, anyway, without further ado, here we go. Just have a slurp. Um, I've been trying to find different poly dubbings for some time. This is a, a terrell one. Um, is a basic uh, sort of Adams grey white blend. And I've been using that to tie this particular little fly. It's very, very experimental. Um, you can also tie all these flies with uh, the old fly right blend. Let's pop that over there so we can see that. Um, and that comes in a host of different colours. Uh, very interesting stuff. Um, and it's worth investing in light, dark, to whatever. Anyway, this is all tied with this particular Tyrrell polypropylene dubbing. I've got black thread. I'm using what is referred to as a size 16 barbless hook um, dry fly um, this is a vineyard hook osprey uh, i'm just trying trying these out i have to say to uh, say size 16 on the back of the packet i have to say one of my disappointments with this hook has been was a larger fish i've hooked on it it has tended to bend it is a light hook you've got to be careful about what you're hooking into and how right i'm going to just take that back up sort of two thirds of the way back into the the eye of the hook i'm then going to get myself a pair of cdc feathers now you can either put these um so the bend is inside or you can put so the bends outside. I'm going to just stroke those down. I have a little bit of CD plumage coming over. I'm just going to whip those in. And this fly is a little bit, in some ways, a little bit like my black magic fly. But I'm going to put the, the wings upright. I'm going to go down to the bend of the hook, catching the CDC again. Then I'm going to clip that off. I'm going to clip it off just about there. That's all I'm going to do. Then I'm going to take some of this dubbing, which I've, I've talked about, the polypropylene total dubbing. Which is that? I'll take a little bit in here. You can wax, but this is pre wax thread, so I'm not that bothered about that. And I'm just dubbing that on, pulling between my fingers, trying to take the lumps out. Now, the thing about polypropylene dubbing is it's lighter than water, so it's got a, at best, it's got neutral density, but it, it's also nice and water resistant. So I'm going to go just to there. That's just at the base of the wings. I'm going to put a little bit more dubbing on. And I'm going to dub this in front of the wings. It's just a little bit of dubbing. I'm not going to get, go all the way to the, the eye of the hook yet. So I'm going to pull that back. And I'm wrapping into the base of the wing. Which cocks those wings up right. Now you can either separate the pair like that and go through and back like so so what i've done is separated those 
those out, like so. Or you can just leave them as they are. What you find is we've got a little bit of head at the end, which is important, it supports the wings. And then we're just going to whip finish. And that basically is the fly. You can tie it in any size. And you can tie it in any colour. Now the colours I've found successful so far have been the grey, which has been a real killer to tell you the truth. I've caught grayling on it, I've caught browns, I've caught rainbows. Um, and I'm sure I'm going to be catching other things on it as well. I found the green, which is uh, an olive medium. Again, tool double. What's a tool called the rust? That's worked very well, almost like a little rusty sedge. And you're getting those at this time of year on, on many of the waters. There's also quite a nice tap stuffing. That's worth worth a try. I haven't had anything on that yet. There's a nice red, and red, you know, is one of my favourites, uh, especially on still water, especially with other, uh, you know, rainbow trout particularly. Um, really like that in terms of the colour plane going through uh, the top of the water and um, the first couple of feet red is a killing colour it's a fantastic dry fly colour but wouldn't touch it so there will be a time it's worth persisting with and i imagine there's oranges etc anyway that's it that's my uh timorous little grey and tie it up Put it on, cast it out there, leave it, let it drift, either in the ripple or the wind, and just see them come up and suck with real, real confidence. I've been fishing it on uh, six to four pound fluoro, and no problems at all. Great fly, a few other variations of it as well, which I'll show you in uh, a couple of minutes.